What's he doing? Getting a pretty clear picture of what you think of me. I asked you not to have a look at this. How dare you? How dare I? I'm sat here with my world falling apart. And all you care about is your... your precious flaming bomb. Have you lost your mind? This is a story. Fiction. Oh, is it? Really? Clever grammar school boy born in the back streets of Manchester, dealing with the, the fools and harridans that surround him as he struggles to escape his roots. Sounds pretty damn familiar to me. Oh, grow up. There's part of me in here, of course. Yeah, not just you, eh, Ken? Because there's no bigger harridan than the fag-smoking monster he finishes up marrying, is there? No, I can't talk to you any like this. You can't talk to me, full stop. You've always thought you were too good for round here. Too good for me. Of course I don't. Well, a fella in there certainly does. But just answer me this, Ken. If I'm so boring, so parochial, as you put it, if round here is so bloody awful, then why did you never have the guts to leave? Oh, don't think I haven't tried. Don't think I haven't dreamed of it, but life happens, Deirdre. Things happen that you don't want to happen, and suddenly you're stuck fast, and there's nothing you can do. Well, you know where the door is. You've used it often enough. I can't believe your simplistic view on this. Oh, well, that's me all over, isn't it, Ken? Simple, stupid. Yeah, well, I would hardly say your reaction is exactly that of a towering intellect, would you? This book means everything to me. And instead of supporting me, all he did was care that some character might be based on you because she smokes. Because... The man in there obviously thinks he's married beneath him. Well, then at least I've been able to use something from my own experience. Ah! It's always been somebody else holding you back, hasn't it, Ken? Not you. Never you. <laughs> what the hell's going on? I were asleep. Go! 